Hi, little chefs. How we doing? Today, we're going to mix a nice little baked chicken. Today, we're going to make pineapple pow pow chicken. Um, somebody asked for chicken and dumplings. I do have a video of chicken and dumplings on the video. It's way down on the list, though. Yeah. If you go in our playlist, I think the playlist? Yes. Um, Papa's Cooking Class 101 or something like that. The cooking video playlist. Okay. So, you want to get you some pineapple chunks or rings and cut them in little chunks. And you want to shove some underneath the skin. Pineapple. And that's what I'm doing right now. We're going to inject this. I got to get the injector out. You do? Okay. <clears throat> I guess he forgets I keep it over here by me. Just all you have to do is lift up the skin a little bit and shove it in there. That's all you gotta do. That's what I'm doing right now. Shoving something in there. Just like that. And we'll in, the back, in the background you see Sissy Hillbilly doing dishes. Yeah. Quit digging. They're gonna say something. Quit digging. They're going to say something. Say, you need my black pepper, please. It's right there. No, I need the one in the big thing. Please. That's why we tell her stop doing this and stop doing that. As we've had people come on before being very nitpicky. So. We're trying to keep the hate comments away. Yeah. You know, I ignore yeah, we know they're going to happen, but. We just ignore half of them. Yeah. So don't bother me anymore. So I put two tablespoons of chicken base in this pineapple juice. I'm putting about a tablespoon and a half of liquid smoke. Um, about a tablespoon of black pepper. About a tablespoon of granulated garlic. Pow pow sauce is going on top, guys. This is going to be the injection. It says they injected in the meat, so I was like, well, I'll try it. I like pineapple chicken. It's real good. We like it. Everybody likes it here. I made plenty of pineapple chicken, but this is supposed to be a Hawaiian dish mixed with Chinese dish is what they said. So I think Hawaiian and Chinese food is almost close to the same. To me, it is. Um, they use a lot of fruity stuff and a lot of ginger and stuff like that. And then I'm going to mix some ginger in here, about a tablespoon of ginger. Ginger is strong like pepper, so you don't want to be overwhelmed. I'm just going to mix her up in here. How much was it for liquid smoke? Tablespoon and a half. And pow pow sauce? Sorry guys, I'm writing this down. I haven't done it yet. Okay. And you haven't done the garlic powder? Yeah, a tablespoon of that. So you want to get your chicken, you want to just inject it. It's nothing hard to do. Get you a nice good metal injector. Um, mm -hmm. They're the best. Um, yes, they are. So you want to go around and just jab it in its legs and, and its thighs. Yeah, it looks like I'm getting vicious with it. 
it's just because you're trying to inject it into the meat and that's what I'm trying to do because you want the meat to have the taste of it is what they're saying so I'm going to inject it in the wing you'll see the wings move <laughs> a bird's trying to fly And what you have left over is a little bit of sauce. You just pour it over top of it. It's just pineapple juice mixed with seasonings. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of salt to it on top of the chicken. And we're going to take the pineapple, leftover pineapple. It's going to go right on top of the chicken. And then we're going to dump the sauce right on top of the chicken. And it's going to go in the oven at 325 and cook real slow. Here you go, sissy. Cook real slow. Yesterday's video, you guys need to go watch that. Um, it's a very good video. Um, I took... Mexican and mixed it in with American yesterday. <laughs> Need to go watch it. It's a very good video. Um, it's a log video. Mom made it into a log video. Mm -hmm. You can get this Kung Pao stir fry sauce at any Walmart, Ivy. It's made by Panda Express. Um, I had it here, so I use it. I can make it, too, if I wanted to. You just want to layer the top of this chicken. Nice layer of it inside the chicken. I don't got a lot of sauce left, so I'll just use the rest. It'll cook down into it. There you go. That take about I'm putting it on right now. It's almost one o'clock. I say about three o'clock it'll be done. Three, three thirty. I don't know what else I'm gonna make with it. Still trying to figure out what else I'm gonna make with it. Just I'm sorry it. guys, my stuff here is falling apart. There we go. Sissy, you want to show them the watermelon? Sissy wants to show you the watermelon. She said that earlier. So I'll let her show you the watermelon. Oh. It's right here, Sage. On the table. Show her the, the one on. And you can grab the cup one, too, if you want to show them. Show them how big it is. This is a sugar baby. Mexican sugar baby. And it's heavy. It's big. And I cut a small one. The small one was ready too. And I just cut a small one for dinner tonight. We're having that with dinner. Um, I just pulled out the seeds in it. So... It's supposed to be seedless, and it's not. And this is what it looks like on the inside of a sugar baby. I took the seeds out, so that's why it looks kind of funky like that. Very good. Very sweet. Um, this is cooking in the oven for, like I said, three hours. So, uh... And now somebody asked me for dumplings. I already done a dumpling video. 
If you guys want to see another dumpling video, let me know. I'll do it again. Um, if you don't want to go back and watch the back video of it, um, I will do it again for you if you want me to. As long as everybody's good with that. Um, I've done some videos, redone some videos because some people wanted to see them. So I do that for you guys because you guys are my family on this channel. And this is a family friendly channel. And I try to do stuff that you guys like to see again or not. That's why I've been doing videos, uh, cooking videos, and then log videos, and cooking videos, and log videos. And it's been fun. Um, an update on my dad. He uh, went back in surgery yesterday. Um, we don't know that he did. That's what he's trying to say. You can't really go by what he says. But we gotta wait until my sister gets off work so I can talk to her. I thought she had church today. Last night. She goes to church on Sundays too. They got Bible study and can't really picture her doing that though. Well, um, we gotta wait. Until I get a hold of my sister and yeah. then find out really what happened. Because he called again this morning, and the weird thing is, is Papa's phone didn't ring. Uh -uh. Whenever he calls, Papa's phone don't ring. That's weird. Usually it rings. Mm-hmm. And it didn't this morning. Mm-mm. He's been doing that lately. My phone's getting old. I don't know if it's the phone or, or what it is. Well, and we've been out in the garden today. We picked a whole bunch more tomatoes, green beans, zucchini and squash. It's been, it's been a fun thing to do. It's been adventurous so far this year. Um, Got two cabbages growing. Yeah, got two cabbages growing. Picked about four cucumbers today. Yeah. It's been it's been one of them days today. It's been fun. I didn't know they picked them. Some banana peppers. Doggy, the doggies are like that. And don't tell Ruby on me when I ate one of her banana peppers. Don't let Ruby know about that. Green beans are about done for now. Yeah, green beans are almost done. We've been cooking, we've been sauteing them in a pan or we make them in the crock pot. And they like both ways. The big tomatoes are coming on. I've got some that are good size. Mm hmm. And then the cherry tomatoes are still going strong. The cucumbers are going strong still. Potatoes ain't died yet. Cuc no. Um, carrots ain't done yet. Kohlrabi ain't done yet. Um. Zucchini squash is finally dying off. Slowly. Okay. It's been a been fair a, fair harvest. It's been a weird harvest this year for vegetables. Some things took right off, others took forever. It's just the way that see our ground didn't get completely frozen this year. It mm -hmm. just got dumped on a whole bunch of snow on top of it. And I think that's what didn't help it. Neutralize some of the problems. Didn't give the minerals it needed. When it, you know, when the ground freezes, it's supposed to get down three feet. Frost feet, you know. Three feet is about the frost line of frozen ground. I think that's what it is. And if that ground gets that three feet frozen ground and then on top it gets snow, it's supposed to help the nutrients come back on the ground for the potatoes and stuff, you know, your vegetables. And if you don't get that, you have to go put that in your garden to bring it back to the level, the pH level to it. And I and guarantee you, your neighbors ain't going to like the smell. So if I'm still here before summer and I close out that garden in the wintertime, neighbors are going to hate me because I'm going to go get some... Horsey newer. Horse poop. Yep. 
You can go, get pig poop too. We'll wax the farm for some. And till it under. Maybe it'll bring the life back in the garden. Mm -hmm. Um the ground here in Quad Cities in some areas is not the greatest. Mm -mm. It's more like a clay dirt. Plus, we live in an area where this used to have been like coal. It was a trading ground, so. Yeah. And you got to think of this, too. We're sitting right by the river, too. Mm -hmm. And all that nice, moist, black dirt disappeared once they started being cold down here and stuff like that and doing stuff. Mm -hmm. It just all disappears and turns into clay. Yep. And that's what our ground is, clay. That's why I added uh, sand that one year and it really took off nice last year. Yeah. So I think I need to go get some horse manure, some sand, some more sand, and till it up real good again and see how it works. Now the small bed where the zucchini is washing watermelon is, um, that's where the sewer plant is. Well, I sewer call, line. I call it the sewer plant because that if anything happens to the sewer in our area, they, that's the main area where they have to dig. Yeah, that's where all the main connections are. And <laughs> I got plants there. They might as well say they're bye bye, you know. So that's why I plant, you know, all spring plants there, like zucchini, squash, but if watermelon. For here next year, you're gonna be planting the t tomatoes over there. You said. Yeah, I'm gonna plant the tomatoes over there next year. Try it out different spot and see what happens. Yeah, it's just seems some different areas. And but I would keep the potatoes right where they're at. Potatoes are doing good this year where they're at. A lot better than what they were in them blue rings we used to use. Oh. This door is dangerous. They tried to bite you. It's spring loaded, I swear. Put this on a 325. Just let it cook slow. There's Ruby. Everybody. You look, your chocolate. Put it on the floor, please. Ruby, want your pepper? She's heavy. Yes, take it. Oh, 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 you dropped you. There he is. Oh, it wasn't She didn't want brought in here. So the kids are getting ready to go back to school. Yay! 16. Yay! <laughs> Monday we'll be doing a log on on the football field. Tomorrow. Yeah. We're Starting around 3.30. We're we'll gonna probably do a little log on the football field. Let you guys see that he's out there being a Spartan. That's after Papa goes and talks to the coach about a few things. Yeah, I gotta talk to the coach. But they say he's a nice person, so we'll see. Fourteen more days in school. Okay, you can't count the weekend. Uh, I can't the weekend. Oh, you don't go to school on Saturday and Sunday. I wish. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> I wish I wish. <laughs> and of course, we got the dreaded shopping day on the 7th. Okay, 10 more days. Let's go. Yep. Got our order in at Cattleman's. Yeah. That's a good meat market if you guys want to go. They're very nice people there. Mm -hmm. um, when I called my order in, they um, very respectful and told me what the prices and stuff is right now. And um, I'm shocked about the baby back ribs. Yeah, four ninety nine a pound. Yeah, they're usually more than that. A lot more than that at a meat market. That ain't bad price. Mm mm. 
Well, we'll see how the hamburger is. We love their sausage. Their sausage is awesome. And I'm at her sausage. I only got two packages of hamburger. We love their sausage. Do you have any chicken left? Huh? Do you have any chicken left? I got two whole chickens still in the bottom of my freezer. Yeah, well, we got plenty of food. We only got, what, three more days? Yeah. Monday and Tuesday. Because okay. Wednesday we go shopping and we'll get something at the store for supper. Might be just something quick. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow I'll make um, crock pot pizza casserole. Well, we're going to be at a football game, so. It's good enough to cook while we're gone. Yeah. I told you, we got to get used to eating later. Your brother's not going to come in after practice or a game and eat by himself. Uh -uh. We're not doing that. Let me know that. Like Just like you. Yeah, I don't know what time you're going to get done with your practice. I want to ask my teacher I get to school. You she don't know anything right now. I've been talking to your teacher. Oh, just Who else am I going to talk to? Dollar. He's not your teacher. He's your main parent. He, he's the one who tells you, you judge, he judges you. He's your judge, jury. And executioner. Yeah, and executioner. That's what my grandma always told me. I remember that. She goes, he never paid God in, um, in vain. Because he's your judge, jury, and executioner. Sometimes he's your lawyer. <laughs> if my mom was still alive and you say GC or GD, she'd be smacking you upside your noggin. Mm -hmm. She didn't believe in that either. No, she didn't go to church. because She came from a family of 10 kids and she had to raise practically every single one of them. Cook their meals, wash their laundry, made sure they took a bath. And help out in the fields. Do you got remember that? Don't say that word in my house either. I don't like it. Because that man upstairs is the one who judges you. Nobody else does. Just him. Just letting you know that. And that's what my grandma always told me. And I, it's always stuck in my head. Just like she always told me, God don't like that doing this thing. You're doing that. She never said that to me, but she said he's the judge, the jury, and the executioner. <laughs> And then I had to put my hand on the Bible and swear I wouldn't say his name in vain. <laughs> that woman was a firecracker, though. I, I remember when she lived in Stonington when we dated that her neighbors were making her mad. I don't know what they were doing, but they were making her mad. Very good person. Oh, yeah. I think that's where my mom gets her kind heart at. Probably. And she sounds like my grandma now on the phone. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want? I always pick on her every day just to make her feel good, you know, and then making sure she's okay. I always try to make her feel good. Right now, she's preparing for the for Uncle David's birthday. Yeah. Just like us, we're preparing for it. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, that's another video going to come out, too. Yeah. Road trip. I just got to figure out what time we're going to have it at the park, the meet and greet. I say noon. Noon? Yeah. If you guys live in Troy area and St. Louis area, or if you want to come from some other state, it's up to you. I'm going to have, my papa's going to be cooking four slabs of ribs, um, making um, potato, homemade tater salad. Well, it ain't just your regular potato salad, it's German. Yeah. Homemade German tater salad, and um, Grandma's making this uh, fluff, Ooh. her whipped cream fluff stuff she makes. Is she making it at home, or is she going to make it here the she night gonna before? She's going to make it here. The night before? Okay. Um, 
And then there's going to be some homemade zucchini bread there. Because Mama's been making homemade zucchini bread. And pumpkin butter. And homemade pumpkin butter. And um, potato chips. Pumpkin butter is going to be stored in mason jars. Yeah. Potato yeah. chips. We're going to have condiments. Yeah. I'm going to make some homemade barbecue sauce. Yep. So if you want extra barbecue sauce on your ribs, you can put them on there. I usually make my bar my ribs kind of sticky icky. They mm -hmm. love them when they're sticky. I gotta icky. pull my napkins out of the camping stuff yet. So you guys are more than welcome to come if you want to. You're invited. Um, we're gonna be at the Central Park in Bellevue. It's Bicentennial Park. Bicentennial. Put, I will put the address below and the time and the date. Bicentennial, ten, Bicentennial Park in Bellevue. Is it Bellevue? Yes, it's only five minutes from where David lives. Yeah. And that's in down there by Troy and St. Louis area. Yeah. And basically all that is the suburb of St. Louis. Yeah. And, um, but I was looking at all the parks around because like, we got to make sure the ground is pretty level for Grandma. And that's why we picked that part. Because the, the restrooms are like really close, so she don't have very far to walk if she has to go to the bathroom. So that, um, I'll uh, say about three in the morning, I'll be getting up and putting ribs on. What you might do is just go ahead and put them in the crock pot and then turn them on at three in the morning. No. I'm gonna have big red. Okay. They got four slabs. Then you'll have them in big red, and all you have to do is turn them on. Yeah. I have four slabs. I'd have to use big red for that. Mm -hmm. My crock pot's too small. <laughs> but you guys are more than welcome to come and eat, and have come and meet us if you want to. Meet us. You're gonna meet the dogs. You're gonna meet everybody, except Uncle Hillbilly. Uncle Hillbilly's got to work. He can't get it off. Mm -mm. Maybe we'll do some baked beans or something. I don't know yet. I'm thinking. Just we still got time to think. Just letting you guys know. It's going to be a good meal. Mm -hmm. And you're more than welcome. I'm try it. Mm. You want to try Papa's cookie. Because I think... Every meet and greet I'm going to have with people, um, if I'm going to have meet and greet, I'll probably have a cookout for you guys. One time it might be stuff for walking tacos. You never know. I'll probably be making a cookout for you all. He's almost 28. They like the long videos. I know, but we still got to finish it after everything's done. But there's a the little bit of things about coming up. Mm -hmm. So... We'll be back when this gets done mm -hmm. and show you guys what it looks like, plus the watermelon and whatever else we make. So we love y'all and God bless you. Peace. You ready, Mom? Mm hmm. Like what, little bit better? Dear Lord, please, 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 Okay, right, everybody. This is the meal for you. Oh, did Mama show you? Skin. She don't like the skin, so there's no skin on that. And then there's the cucumber salad. The veggies right there. So, we appreciate you all. Um, down below, the link below, there's the Amazon wish list. There's the... Uh, recipe for it, um, join button, and then the little emoji guy, whatever you call that. Oh, supers? Yeah, supers. And if you like, subscribe to this, you'll get to see more of our family ventures and family friendly content. Channel. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm tired. And, um, just like, subscribe, share us out. Um, uh, and if you're not shared, you know, you're not on a channel, just hit the join button, the subscribe button, 
and then hit the bell so you can get the messages. I'm trying to do a video every other day, every day now. Practically, I've been doing it every day for almost what two, two or three weeks, almost. About almost. But we appreciate you all, and God bless you all, and we love you. Peace, little chefs.